Hey guys, so today I am going to be uh, showing my top 10 can't live without products. Um, these are the products that if I was stranded on a desert island, I would totally take with me. And these are the products that like I absolutely use from like the moment I buy them to the moment that I have to like scrape off the bottom of it or like squeeze the top off to get every little inch of a product off. So um, I'm going to start with um, my favorite foundation, which is the Air Flash Foundation. It is from Dior. And um, I absolutely love this spray foundation. I'm wearing it now. And I'm not going to spray it on my hand because every little smidge counts. It's like $62. But I absolutely love this foundation. It just gives like a really flawless finish. And if I don't want to do the whole full airbrush look but still want to have like a really good coverage this is definitely my go-to um, and you can get this at Sephora, um, Nordstrom's, Macy's, pretty much wherever you'll find a Dior counter like you can find this foundation. Um, my second favorite product is um, Laura Geller Spackle and I love it because I have like really olivey sallow kind of skin and this is a color correcting one and it's primer and it's great because it completely kind of evens out my skin tone and it looks great underneath um, my foundation any foundation you can use it with it and I love it because it neutralizes kind of everything and it's just amazing the texture is great I'll put a little bit here on my hand um, it has like a peachy uh, tone to it, if you can see it. And it just gives the skin like a really, really nice glow. And they call it spackle um, because it's pretty much like, you know, a primer if you're priming a wall. You know, you want to get all the nooks and crannies before you put the paint on. Same thing with your face. Um, I just really love it. So that, um, you can buy it at Ulta. And then my third favorite thing is Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion this is amazing I absolutely love it I don't know if that focused on good there here um, my favorite one is Eden and I hate it at the same time because it's usually always sold out um, I guess it's a favorite of many people this is actually like the old bottle kind you can't really find this anymore except maybe Amazon but I'll um, Urban Decay doesn't make it anymore and it literally looks like concealer. I sometimes will use it con um, as a concealer underneath my eyes and it makes whatever eyeshadow I put on top of it just so much brighter. It's just gorgeous. It makes a huge difference. Can't live without it. So that's my third. And then my fourth favorite product is bronzer. Um, it's specially Guerlain. This one is terracotta. And this baby is also not cheap. I wish it was. And I have two of these. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now. So I don't know if you can see. But it just gives like a really natural glow to the skin. Like a really natural bronze, not snooky look-alike tan. Um, this runs around 50 something, I believe. Um, I got this at Sephora, so that's where you can pick it up. Love this bronzer, highly recommend it. I've used so many others, but this is definitely like my top five. So, and that's Guerlain. And then my fifth favorite product is this little magic thing called Lash Extender. So you can see it there. It is lashes in a bottle. I got this at um, an IBS show a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love it. You can I've only been able to see it online. It's, I think, from some Italian company called Divaderm, and everyone always asks me if I wear fake eyelashes, and this is when I'm not wearing fake eyelashes, and I absolutely adore it. It is... It's kind of messy, so I'm going to try to be really careful. It literally is little fibers. Let's see if I can focus it on there. It's, it literally looks like little, little hairs. Um, and what you do is you just put it over your mascara while your mascara is still wet. You have to like kind of tilt your head up or like tilt your, hair, um, your head down. 
because it tends to kind of get everywhere. I usually, if I'm gonna use this, I will do like my eye makeup first and then my foundation, but this is amazing. I absolutely, I, I can't even, <sighs> yeah, I have like no words. Uh, this was about, oh my God, $20, but it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. A little bit goes a long way, and it's like putting little mini individual lashes into um, all the little sparse paces, and it just looks phenomenal. People will ask if you wear this. People will be like, what are you wearing on your eyes? Is this like yeah, eyelashes? No, it's lash extender. Um, my other product, I believe number six we're on, is Urban Decays, and as you can see, I love this so much. It is Urban, uh, you won't focus. It's Urban Decays Concealer. It's the 24-7 concealer. This is in color DOD. Um, I think they have about six different colors. I got this at Ulta, and I love it because, honestly, I kind of wish they made a foundation with this because this is, oh no, this is amazing. It gives a really, really nice full coverage. I use it like, you know, on acne scars or like little breakouts, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing like full heavy concealer. It is seriously the best. It goes on super smooth. There it is. And it just blends really nicely into the skin. Voila, it's gone. Um, it covers everything. See, my little veins are gone. I love this thing. This is about $18, $19. And oh, it's a shame that I'm almost running out of it. So it means I gotta go get more. Uh, and then my seventh favorite thing is YSL Toshikwa. So fancy. I don't know if I'm... Um, anyways, this is not a concealer, people. Um, a lot of times I hear people say, oh, this is a concealer, and it, it's not. I, it's considered eight hours of sleep in a pen. Um, so if you don't get eight hours, this is perfect for you. It's great um, to use as a highlighter. I like to put it like around the areas of my face that I need to brighten down the bridge of my nose, like Cupid's bow. I'm um, usually in the center of the face where you want to just kind of brighten and, and highlight. This is what this is for. It's phenomenal. You can get this. Um, sorry, I just noticed like a little weird, little weird loop there. Okay. You can get, <laughs> you can get this anywhere. Um, again, Sephora, department stores, any YSL counter should have it. This is amazing, Toshikwa. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it should, if you're a makeup artist, it should definitely be in your kit. Um, and even if you're not a makeup artist, like, even if you're just like a mom with five kids, um, you don't get enough sleep, this is your lifesaver. And then my one of my favorite mascaras i'm a eyelash junkie like if there's mascara really would be the one and only thing if i had to pick one and only thing that i would take with me on the desert island um this one is dior it is just a regular dior show and i get a lot of compliments with this one this one is the blue one um, I'm wearing it right now, um, but you can't really see it because I paired it up with like another um, mascara. And I, this just gives like a lot of volume. It doesn't clump. Um, it's just definitely, definitely one of my um, mascaras that go in my rotation because I rotate through like a lot of different mascaras. I love to try out new mascaras. So if you have any recommendations on your favorite mascara, I would love to hear it. And I'll definitely try it out. Um, so that was Dior, um, Dior Show Mascara. And then I love um, my next favorite product. This is for lips. It's um, from NYX. I'm wearing it right now. It is their Lip Cream. I don't know if you can focus on that. I don't know. It's whatever. Um, it's NYX, not NYX. Um, I guess you could call it NYX, but they prefer to be called NYX. Um, it's a soft matte lip cream, and I love it because it's, um, their thing it says, it's not a lipstick, nor is it a gloss. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. It's a lipstick cream that goes silky, but looks soft matte, which I love. Um, 
I'm not a big like lipstick person and this almost makes it look like I'm wearing lipstick but it stays on really really well and that is the color there I'm gonna swatch it for you um so there you go um I have it on right now and I have it paired with um a Nick lip liner it's almost in the same shade I love like nip Nick uh, Nick's lip products are definitely my go-to um they're so inexpensive they usually are on sale this one is their lip liner pencil in 840 rose and so I pair that um together and I believe I have did I do 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh I actually did 11 okay cool um <laughs> As you can see, I'm a makeup junkie. Um, so if there's any products out there that you absolutely love, can't live without, um, or you, is new in the market, I love to know what's new, what's hot, what's coming out. I want to get my hands on everything makeup-wise. So if you want to just comment in the box, um, in the comment box below, let me know. And I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. So have a great day. Bye.